vlog, but I guess I don't know. I'm showing my face. Is that vlogging? <laughs> um, I'm going to show you what is in my desk. Um, I know you guys wanted to see like a whole little area studio type of tour. You guys know I don't have my own room per se. I've just taken over a lot of my home, <laughs> my living space. Um, this used to be my dining area. So I just kind of converted it into now my studio office type of thing and maybe ventured a smidge into the living room but hey, what can you do <laughs> so that being said i thought i would go through and at least show you guys what is in my desk there will be a whole other video that i will come out with sooner than later of my whole art collection and everything that i do have so what is in all of these drawers and my other alex drawer there and then there's another alex drawer behind or down below We'll definitely go and then the little thing over there. I will show you all of that in another video, but today I thought I would just do the desk. So when I do the other video, I don't have to worry about the desk and it won't be as long. So I don't hold nail art in my desk. Um, they are all scattered in the other drawers. I just have my, I don't know, like my main stuff, like my implements. I have tips and so on and so forth. But I guess you guys will see that in a minute. So let's get started. This is the chair that I sit in. It is from HomeSense. I got it years ago. It used to be like my makeup chair. Um, it is super comfortable. It does have like a weld back. So this little pillow putting it there actually really helps and keeps me upright, which I find to be honest is quite, quite comfortable. It does wheel around, which is great. So I can wheel around to all my other drawers and it does go up and down. Okay, yeah, so first things first, why don't I show you what is on top of my desk? So right now, this is my sky UV lamp. Um, I always have my little buffers in there. And when I cure fingers or tips, they sit on them. So for the most part, they stay in there, especially if I'm not doing my own nails and I'm not taking anybody right now. So that is always on my... Okay, this guy always makes noise. I swear, every single time I put up this recording device... Little man over there who wants to go and throw around his stuff. But, okay, so sorry for the noise in the background, but if you're new here, if you don't know, I have a bunny. If you've been around and watching me for a minute, you guys have heard him plenty of times. So let's start with this little rotating device. Oh, there he is over there. So this is, I got this from Amazon. I actually seen this on Talia's nail studio. She has one of these and I was like, oh my God, that would be perfect for me because I need like for space saving so I just have my hands both my hands in there and then I have my fingers here these little containers I got from Dollar Tree they're like dessert containers you'll see them throughout my desk they actually work really well so I just have my fingers in there for now just some art I always keep my cuticle things because I use them for even when I'm applying gel or anything like they just come in handy for me all of my small solutions where I just want them quick on my desk. So that comes in handy. This also houses my drill. Um, I got this drill thing from Ali. I absolutely love this holder. It holds my main gel brushes that I use and my drill and then all of my main bits that are cleaned and just sitting there waiting to be used. Stay. Okay, here's just um, some alcohol. And that spray bottle, which you always see me use. Um, this obviously is just like more of the, the work side of things. Pens, stuff like that, scissors. And that's it. And then on top, this is just some nail tips. Sorry guys. Sorry, this is just some nail tips that I, are for my little hands, which I kind of have them like right there. That way they're easy to grab, to be honest. It just makes it convenient. I am, I do have another system of this that this might change though. So I don't know really yet how that's going to be a couple of little dust brushes and then business cards and then those little cuticle oils that I use all the time, which I probably should have put on my hands before I started this. But yeah, my business cards are just turned around guys. So, you know, and then all of my Venelisa's. The reason I keep them out here. To be honest, it's actually nice, it's easy to grab, quick top coat, base coat, whatever you need. But as you'll see in my drawers, they are a smidge tall. So they work, but I find they move a little, so I'm not a fan of them. 
my little book. I always have a book on my desk or on the side of my desk, something. Okay, over here, this is just from the Dollar Store, Dollarama. I have toothpicks, which is good for like nail art work, rhinestone glue, anything like that. Always handy to have. Just two different types of wipes. Um, I'm really digging these wipes right now, to be honest, that I found at the Dollar Store, Dollarama. Um, these are the lint-free ones. Again, you have scissors, stir sticks, you know, your basic stuff that I use. I don't use any of this on clients. This is all stuff, well, scissors I would clean and use if I want to cut a tip, but to be honest, I'm not taking anybody right now, so. But all this other stuff is just stir sticks, my gel, quick little brushes that I handy. Over here, it's not that crazy, it's just my put away. This broke, so I don't even know if I'm going to keep that or not, but I usually, if I have anything I'm doing nails, I want something to have a put away so it's not all on my desk. I just have this little guy. I love these things. I get them from Shein. It's hard to find the bigger ones, but you'll see smaller ones throughout my area anyways. Phone stand, which is really good for even some videos you can film on it, depending on like really what you're trying to do. But it's good for the side views, good for TikToks and stuff like that, like having a little phone stand. Um, this is not overly my desk, but it's beside my desk, so we'll just quickly go up here. Jelly stamper stuff, my little swatch tabs, and then these are the soak off foils I just keep there. And another phone thing. Over here, guys, which I love these little things, I just have all of my foils and decals. That's really all that is in there. Um, I do have a paper pad in there because where I have my other paper pads, I've kind of taken over that whole space, so it kind of worked for that too. Now if we go down, which is not that crazy, I'll sneak you guys in. It literally just holds my extra armrest and little stands for my hands. And I think it has a phone stand or two also over there, and then some Clorox wipes. Alrighty. As we are here. So let's just do this side. So this is my left side of my desk. The first one we have is brushes. I'll go stitch you on this side because this is like my view. So this is how I have all of my brushes. Now all of these are from the Dollarama, but they're just those like long, like a little clear organizers. Work well. These, I have four of these now. Um, they hold majority of all of my bits. To be honest, like I really should go through them and probably throw some of them out. The ones that I've had for a little bit. These are just my buffing bits and then I threw some extra bits in there as well. These are all clean. I just put that little guy on it to kind of keep them that way. But yeah, so I have four of the brush holders. I have one for all my gel brushes, one for my silicone and dotting tools, liner, and then we have a mix, and then we just have more of the art ones. Then, because you know these Alex drawers, they are deep, so I hold all of my big refillable uh, Vanillisas back there, and then I do have, I think, like, a white and a clear acrylic. I don't use acrylic often, but if I'm going for, like, sugaring or something. This drawer, I just kind of did this drawer. So I don't know if this drawer is going to stay like this. Um, so this just it says variety because it just has a variety of different things. But right now it's holding all of my rhinestone glues. Let's just be there. All of my rhinestone glues, my little curing flashlights. Um, these little polish things, I just got these. I didn't even show them in a haul, so I guess you guys will see them here. I was thinking of swatching my polishes that I have now to put on a rack, but I'm just really not sure if I'm gonna do that. So I just set them there for now. Little damping dish, unfortunately, this came broke from Allie, but they gave my money back and so, she's there, I like the, it still works, I still use the bottom, to be honest, I still use it, like it's not that crazy. Um, and then I do have just some cuticle oil. Um, this is just, I love this for my hands as well, guys. It's just um, pure coconut oil. That works really, really well, to be honest. And just hand, hand down um, what you call it, lotion and stuff. Behind there is just more of these, to be honest. And what these are is just a whole one. It's just, this one snapped. So, like I said, I don't even know what I'm going to do. If I'm going to leave it, keep it, I'm not sure yet. But I just threw it in there for now. So who knows what I could use that for. Next one down, we have nail tips. So this is pretty organized to like my liking at least. So this is all ballerina. Here we go square from here back. And then 
My majority is um, stiletto. I think I, it's probably one of my favorites, so I think I go for more stiletto. But then these are all stiletto here. Mixture of stiletto and ballerina. And then these are the Russian almond tips that already come pre-cut. So yeah. Oh, these are, yeah, the Russian almonds too. I didn't have anywhere to put them. These are more the squared out Russian almond tips though. So they're kind of unique. I've never tried these yet. But all of these are different brands. So I do put the brand on it if what it is. So either you have like McCart's. If they're from Sheen, I put Sheen. If they have no name, then usually that means they're from Ali. So that's kind of how I've been organizing mine. These are just for foils. They work really well for pretty long tips like these for instance it's a pretty decent sized tip i would classify that as like an xl all day long even a 2xl so it's pretty long i don't think yeah i didn't put usually i put whatever size these ones are crazy for the most part guys i don't know if these are i think these are three i think i haven't marked this four but like that is just, I think these are more of a 3XL though to be honest, ow, because the other ones I have are 4, so I should probably change that, and the 4XL won't fit in here, but those ones fit in there, so I should change that, I think that's more of a 3, to be honest, I think they sold it as a 4, but in my opinion I think it's a 3, because like these ones here are definitely 4XL, and they will not fit in those e-nail couture containers, so. This is another nail tip drawer and press-ons. So I have all of these, it says nail tips. I usually mark it and then this one over here does say press-ons. These containers are from Ikea. They come in like a little package of a couple other ones that you'll see in a few moments. But so back here is more press-ons that I try to keep. And then these are all my shorter tips that I tried to put down here. I was buying a lot of shorter nail tips at one point when I was taking my models and stuff. I found they were all going for very, very short nails, so I thought that would make my life easier. Um, did it? Not really, to be honest. I think the shorter ones are harder to grab, but they're there. I'll still use them, so I didn't want to like not use them or throw them out, so they're just going to sit here. And then I have some, any of my bag tips that do not fit in the container. So these ones will not fit in those e-nail coutures, and that's my largest containers that I have. Um, so I have some 4XL here, so we have square, 4XL stiletto. These ones here are, are gotten from Ali and Shein. They are like the crazy, crazy longs. I think they're, yeah, they are smaller than this, but these are like half cover. You can do full cover with them, but they're mainly for artwork. So I keep them down here as well. It's same as these ones. They're more just for art. I've never tried to put them on myself or anybody else. But yeah, I don't know. I can go long, guys. I don't think I could go that long. That might be problematic. And then again, some shorts. So majority of these are short or press-ons. And usually, like I said, wherever I get them from, they either have the names on them of the company, because I don't always keep them in the company containers, if the container is not fitting in my drawer. And what I mean by that is like, well, this one fits good. So this is a good example. This container is this company. They came in this. That fits fine because a lot of my containers have these type of things. Like foil containers are that size. But if they're like just really weird size, like shape, like this right here, for instance, these came in this. Um, I have two of these. That's the only reason I keep it. But if I only had this one, I would take it out of this container and put it in like one of these ones that I have. I bought some like this, and then these I have a whole whack of. It's just more uniform for my drawer. It keeps my drawer to be able to stay like this and organize kind of a bit more, I guess. Okay, last but not least. So, so this is my restock drawer. It's nothing too crazy. It's just either stuff that I need for restocking, extra, like an extra for my, um, what do you call it? My duster. These, I love to use these for like new drill bits, new implements, that type of stuff, little dimer tape. Just like little extras, if I have extra glue, sometimes I come in twos or I buy one extra. You know, I'm already a little excessive, guys. If you've been following me, you know I love hauls. So, let's scrooge over here. 
Oh guys, I love this little garbage can. Um, I did talk about it on one of my last hauls. It's great. It just like, it's glued, not glued, sorry. It's taped to my desk. It has like, it kind of, it comes off. You see what I mean? So I got that from Shein. Like I said, it's not the most cheapest thing. I think it was like, I think the pink was the cheapest. That's why I went pink, to be honest. I think it was like eight bucks. All right, so I'm going to flip you and how I would see my drawer. So this one is just, again, I just marked it variety because it is a variety of things. If you guys have a, another better name for this drawer, even this drawer over here, because variety, I'm not, I'm not feeling the name variety, but I couldn't think of a name that suits it better than for a base name. Yes, I could come and put my glue and the thing on the side, but a base name for it. But I don't know if this drawer is going to stay like this. I've been organizing and cleaning my area like a crazy woman lately, so everything... I'm actually getting a lot more space. Sorry, guys. Okay. Here. So I just call this a variety because that's what it is. Um, and uh, I'm not going to call it implements because there's not a lot of implements in it. But anyway, sorry. Back to the point. So this is just... I just marked it as used because like these files I've used... So these files I've used on myself or practice hand or whatever. If you guys keep up with my channel, you know for the most part I use the metal files. So these come off. And then I switch them out. So I never reuse a file on a client. And I like the metal ones because they're so sturdy. Like to get that line, um, like when you're edging and filing your nail, to get it straight, these work amazing. Because these files, like this is metal, so it's not bending. Where this file, which, okay, it's a McCart file, but if you look, it bends. So when you're trying to, like, get that straight edge, and you might not know you're doing it, but you're putting and applying the pressure, and if you're not keeping it straight, you're bending it, and then you will have that curvature in your nail. And sometimes if you can get in here, and then, like, it just, I don't know, edges it. I prefer those ones, in my opinion, but who am I? All right, righty. Back to this. So this is just used, like I said, just the files I've used on myself or my hand. This guy, I've never really used it. I bought him from Sheen. I thought it'd be good to put um, alcohol in it. You can't really hold alcohol in it because it just leaks. So, mm, I don't know. To be honest, it's there though. This little guy is just white out. I bought that from Sheen as well. It's cute. Little lipstick thing. All right, so here we have any of my wax tools and that guy that I almost sliced my finger off with the other day. So all wax tools and then I've never used this. I've never used them actually, but I still have it here. It's just a um, slip solution pen. I think it's mainly for like poly gel to be honest. That's what it's really for, but I never used it. Um, so these are all of my implements. Now, all these implements here, like all these type of ones, these are not used on people or myself, like skin. These are for taking off rhinestones, clipping off nails, anything like that. All these tweezers, the only thing I ever use these tweezers for, and that's why some of them like get gunky, is to when I put tips on, I hold the tips on each side to make sure the sides are adhered with the glue. So that's all these tips are for. So I don't really care that like the glue gets stuck on them and stuff. Like they don't want like I don't know, they just don't come off that easy. So after a while, like I'll just throw them out. I actually really like that pair. I don't it's probably why I'm throwing that one out. But yeah, some of them like even now, like that one. For instance, this one, like that one can probably go in the garbage now, as we're in here. But yeah, so that's all that's for. And then you have some tweezers or um not tweezers, some pinching tools. We want to pinch. Yeah. Then here we have palettes and brush holders. I'm a little bit of a label whore, guys. I think I label everything. I really run through that Dymo tape. I ain't gonna lie to you. Um, yeah, so I just have all of my little brush holders, palettes, and then back here are just like all of my damping dishes or just like little dishes. Basically, anything I want to put liquid in is there. So that seems to work pretty well for me. Behind that are just little dollar store pencil cases. Oh god, to be honest, like I don't even remember what is in it. Like, I don't even know guys. There's just some like random... I don't know if I can like turn you guys. Kinda. 
And then some more damping dishes back there. So, Oop, sorry, I hope that didn't make you guys dizzy. Okay, so we have our next drawer. So this drawer, I put all of the labels there, and then we have the little label here for these, these little implements. Again, these are, so we have my tip cutters, um, some little just regular tools. You would be surprised of actually how much you use like a little pair of pliers in here, because I've had some like even here is a good example. For the life of me, I could not get this off. I just took my pliers and I got it off. Unfortunately, now I kind of messed up that bottle top, but hey, it worked. And again, pinching or um, clippers for taking off like big body rhinestones that want to be difficult. These work actually really, really well, as well as these though. These work good too. These are a bit sharper, so be careful you don't cut yourself. All right, so here we have, we have prep. So this is going to be dehydrator and, um, how do you call primer so that is all what's in there just different brands guys i'm not gonna think i'm really gonna like throw out all brands of different stuff but i would say if you could um this is like the mac daddy i think pretty much everybody knows that for any lifting the protein bond i ain't gonna lie i just got this one not like actually really not long ago um so i haven't quite tried that been at least one okay so here i have all of the base so these are all of my base coats um to be honest i really do like the young nails i usually use a lot of that even if i'm not using that same gel brand um i have the Benelisa on not sorry this is a peel off base so i don't have not that one i have this one that is up here so that's what i have on my hands now with the Benelisa gel. So I did try the whole system on my hands of um, Benelisa because I just wanted to give her a go. Peel off base, I haven't tried it yet. I hear great things of peel off base. So I'm really excited to give that a go to be able to change up my nails a little bit more. Okay, so we have top coats. Um, right now, I wouldn't say I have a favorite top coat, to be honest. I haven't been doing nails long enough to have a favorite, and that's my honest truth. Um, I think it takes time and a good variety of products to be like yes this is my favorite do i like some better than others right now most definitely i would say my go-to viscosity and that's my key i don't like one that's too thick and i don't like one that's too thin so i'm like right in the middle type of person how i like my top coat just my opinion um really thick top coats i find are okay for encapsulation for stickers and decals and stuff but for a regular no, it's not really my jam. So I don't like I said right now I'm not I'm not saying favorites right now because I really don't have any favorites. I think it's gonna take time for me to say yes, this is my one and only. And the only reason I say the protein bond is like Mac Daddy and yes, I will call it a favorite because I used to have such issues with lifting, even with my own self when I was doing acrylic and stuff. Um and then I discovered that and to be honest I haven't. So it kind of speaks for itself. Um, okay, now we have foil glues. This, you just have this McCart, because I know a lot of people have trouble with foils, guys. I'm in the same boat as you. Please believe. Um, this is a good one, though, I'm not going to lie. The McCart is good. As well as the Beatles, I've tried it. I feel like they do stick pretty well. Um, I bought this. This is my first one I've ever bought. Um, and to be honest, I used it wrong the whole time. I put it in the lamp thinking that's the way that it dried. And now as that I've had this channel, I've had so many amazing subscribers come to me and just learn the knowledge and just say, girl, that's just a self-dry one. So it's probably why it never worked. So I really want to give this an, like its rightful go again because I just don't, I just didn't, right? I was using it wrong. Um, this Benelisa one, I just got it. I heard great things though, people telling me that it was actually really, really good. These two I just bought as well. I want to, I will do um, a foil video again with a few of the other ones that I got in because I want to test it. But I would say probably these two are what a lot of people are like, yeah, like these are the jam. They did stick pretty well though, guys, the first time I tried them. So I've yet to get a whole foil to stick. So I don't know. Kind of go with that if you want to take my advice or not, or my opinion, I should say. Um, Back here, we just have glue. Um, Now this is a little bit kind of a hodgepodge i marked it glue but i guess the main is glue 
Don't really have a favorite glue, I would say, right yet. I hear the KD is fine. I should really probably buy some and try it. Um, usually whatever glue I'm using is usually in my guy. So right now I'm just using the Young Nails. Um, so we have glue. And I do have some just regular... Um, I don't know if I can get back there. So this is for like what I'm doing. Anybody that wants their like nails done or even like base and top that does not want a file off product or a silk off product sorry um so yeah i do keep a couple of them back there like nail hardeners i do have like a matte top coat and a matte etsy um back there and i think i have like what's this oh this is a top coat so yeah i do have some just basics just in case like I said, you want that and you don't want um, the soap offs. So it's good for toes too. Like when I do like my mom's toes. I don't really don't do feet, guys, to be honest. Like I don't like feet. Like, I, you know what I'm saying? Just not my jam. But I do, do like do my mom's and stuff, so I'll put that on her. Um, back here is just more of these little guys. And then I have like this little heart damping dish. And then I have one more of these um, tip cutters. Because they're so far back, I usually only put stuff back there that is like a restock thing or if like I gonna not eat it on my daily. That's kind of how I do that. Okay. Let's go to the next. Oops. What fell? See, some of them get a little high. So I feel like that one's high now. Okay. I'll have to go back and fix that. Okay. I hope this like little turning is not gonna like bother you guys. Next one, we have prep. So these are my absolute favorite, favorite drawers. Um, let me see something. That's better. Turn that light off. So I love these drawers. I feel like they're so organized and it's just like, ah. So roll with me here. This is how you would see like the open view of it, I guess. But I'm just going to show you side view because this is how I see it when I open my drawer. So we have everything is, what you called it, um, labeled. Like you know, I'm a little bit of a label jammy. So lint free, buffer blocks, little finger protectors. I love these guys. They're really good when you're filing and you don't want to mess up your nail. That's really what I use them for. So that's all. Hey. So that's all there for. And then I have my gloves. For the most part, I have black and blue gloves. And I think even over there, I do have a couple disposable masks. I usually have my mask that I use when I'm filing, or if I have people, then I have like my washable mask. But I do have some there as well. So here we have all my files, buffering blocks. Um, for the most part, I do like these little guys. But sometimes they're a little annoying to hold. So I've been testing out these longer ones. Um, I wonder if I have one like on hand. Sorry, I had one in my cart. So these are the ones I've been kind of testing out. And I like these better. I'm not good at holding this. I should have maybe like put you on a different stand. Um... Yeah, I just find they're easier to hold. So, I've been kind of testing those ones out. Then we have our table protectors, um, which are just like dental mats. But they work really, really well. We get them from Sheen. Pink and blue, as you guys know, is like kind of my jam. It's my color. Um, these, I have all of my prep kits. And I'm pretty sure they're all... Yeah, I think I've, I've finally got them all to where I wanted them. So, I have six, I think, because six was always my number of how many like I wanted to have ready to go. That way I never had to worry about washing in between or anything like that. Um, yeah, I don't know. I thought I'd just make my life easier. So, I have six of these already prepped and ready. Like I said, guys, I'm not really taking anybody right now. I'm just... My desk in my area is all set up right now for content creating. Um... I was taking clients and I was even doing my model program but because of like 
you know, the circumstances. I've just decided to kind of shut that down for right now and just focus on YouTube. So I just use these really well. I just use them on myself. And then if I do like any friends or family's nails. And I like these for myself as well. Because here when I keep stuff, like dust, I know over time dust, touch it. I've touched it. You know what I mean? So it's good even for our own selves. Like we don't want to get any like infections or anything on ourselves as well. So it works as well for that. And then these I do use on skin, so I did keep them just down here so there is no confusion. I do have all of them in here, but sometimes like even me, like if I have like just a smidge of like a freaking hang skin or something, I like just to grab these and not have to open up a whole pack. So I do like to keep one on hand. And these, this one here, I got these ones from Dollar Tree, I believe, and they, they're fine. I would say it's a hit or miss because some of them don't line up. So if they don't line up, guys, I would recommend just use them for rhinestones because you're going to mess up your skin. Um, here I do hold all of, not all, I only have two. Like I'm some crazy person here. Um, Born Pretty, I haven't used this one yet, I just hauled it. This one I've used before. And let me get the name, the Mishiring. To be honest, I'm not really a fan um, I find my rhinestones keep falling off on that one, so hopefully the Born Pretty one will be a bit better. I do like the pen effect with them, and I think you can refill them the way that it seems. I think I would test to refill it, so it works good. Um, this shouldn't even have the bottom on it, but anyways, I put them down here just for the fact that I don't want them to stand up. And then this, I always had this ready to go as brand new, um, clean little bits like a bit holder I actually ordered a bit holder but I want to show you guys this which does work so if you guys like are doing clients or yourself even and sometimes like when I put my bits in here when I'm using them like it's hard when we have our nails it's like these are kind of on the shorter side so if you have the longer ones like it's actually hard to pick these little guys up so what I do is just get a buffing block and then just stab these guys in there and they stand perfectly so even in this I do that so they're covered but that stands great on my desk so you can just grab it, grab it out. It's a lot easier. So that's what I was kind of doing. I don't really need that system now, but they're clean. So I just kind of left them in there. This is not the easiest thing to do with one hand. I know I could leave it and then do it when I'm done filming, but that would not be true to myself. Hey. Let's not put that upside down, cakes. Go back. All right, so we have one more drawer to go. And this one says prep as well. Again, this is like, oh, so sorry, guys. Again, this is like one of my favorite drawers as well. Oh, guys, I do apologize. These containers are from um, Ikea. They do come in those big containers I showed you with my tips. So here, again, I'll just give you this view. So this is my files these files here are the ones that i was talking about so it just has a sticky back and they stick on the metal base and for the most part actually guys here i have them i think i have like one yeah i do have one so this is what i usually do i have more of these metal files for the rest of them but because i already sealed them without it i didn't have them at the time um yeah, so, but they will have metal files as well in them. So they're all sanitized and like ready to go, which I really, really love. But until I get to the point, see, these don't have clippers in it because I didn't have them. Oh, so this is like a, there you go. That's a good one. This is like a complete one. So it has everything that I need in it. And I have all of the same things for every package. It's just when I sealed the other ones, I didn't have them in yet. I do now have them, but I'm not going to waste the packages. So until I open them and use them, and then re-sterilize and put them in new packages, they'll just stay like that. So they will all have the metal ones as well, so it keeps it nice and clean. So those are for them. That's 180, 240, and then these are mixed. And I just say mixed because they are. They're all like the ones that I... I kind of don't use as much or I just use on myself so I have different brands in there I think I have some young nail ones I have some I've tried a few different brands like I said I just prefer the metal but they're still really good so I'm not gonna obviously toss them I use them on myself for the most part and here this is like 
my holy grail i love these drawers so unfortunately these don't fit as well because they're a little too tall but i still kind of liking it so these are all my cuticle pushers these are all my metal files metal files to me i love them because they're thin they get in there on the sides especially like right here like on the sides i've always said that so i just bought a whole whack from shein now they're gonna get dull quick once they get dull guys i just toss them because they're only a couple dollars it's not that crazy so cuticle swabs these are great i love these things um i recently ordered some lipstick ones for lip gloss i think will work really really well for stamping so that might get integrated in here some sort of way somehow um then we have disposable little brushes which is really good for artwork again cuticle pushers or sorry cuticle cutters the same idea as the files guys these to me are going to get dull really quick if you're too scared or you're just not comfortable enough to use the nippers these work kind of well too um again be careful because they are tight too but same thing i wouldn't really reuse these too much because they're going to get dull and then that's where you're going to get like the cutting more of the cutting of the skin and stuff so same way i grab a whole whack and then when they're done give them a toss sponges and we just use them really for any type of artwork i have applicator eyeshadow applicators in there which is great for chrome so it's just a mixture of them these little sponges here if you see them they're for um like ombre you don't need to use these guys though you can use just regular sponges or anything but i do have them as you guys know i'm a little bit of a I don't know. I'm a little, like, obsessed, I think. It's crazy. Okay. So that is that. Now, we have this drawer here, but I'm not going to show you what's in that drawer. It just is a new products and um, product review. Okay. So, sorry for that. I thought it'd be easier if I just kind of turned you guys back around. So that drawer literally is just for products, like, the new products that I've got in that I want to swatch review. Some products that I haven't even put in hauls, but it's just particular brands. I've decided to kind of keep them together and do it more as a swatch review type of thing. It's a maybe like a mini haul, however you, I don't know how I'm going to word it, but for the most part, it'll be like that. Kind of like the Roslyn video that I did. That was all new. You guys never seen them before, at least, sorry, from my channel, um, but I didn't put it in a haul. So that was my method behind that. Just trying to think of different ways, different creative concepts and ways to come out with new, new video ideas for you guys. Like... It's one thing to get the video and do the video to me and then to come up with all these different ways to keep you guys interested, you know what I mean? So that's that drawer, so no peeking. I've been kind of doing my tips, how I showed you guys that. I do like that for certain tips, but I've been doing this method as well. And I have a couple more of these coming. So I don't know if that's going to change. There is things that are going to change for sure. Um, for instance, I'll show you guys quickly the light that I'm using now. I'm actually going to get a different light i think i want to get the slim light this light's okay but it's just not as bright as i want it to be and then my nail lamp that nail lamp um i absolutely love it it's like my favorite nail lamp i can't find the same one um or i would just rebuy the same one and have like two but she's old she's like i've had her for like a year that's the first lamp that i ever really bought um even when i hardly even knew what like uv lamps were for but she's awesome. I love how big it is and it works. Um, but I do have two more on the way. Hopefully they're good. It's not any particular brand. I got it from Amazon. But the width and dimensions seem to be okay. I'm hoping it's good. I really am not in the place yet to be buying like crazy, crazy ones because I want to. So I looked at the Kiaya Scar. Kiaya Scar. Kiaya Sky. <laughs> I can't even say What is it? Kiara Sky, holy tongue twister, can't speak, Sky ones, and um, they're like three bills each, so that would bring me like six, seven hundred bucks, and I'm just not there yet for that, but um, yeah, so I really hope that they're good, they were supposed to be here yesterday, and they're still not here, so it's kind of annoying, um, yeah, so that will change, there's a few things that will definitely will change, but I want to kind of show you where I'm at now, I don't think my, my desk drawers will change that much, because I'm really, really liking the way that they work and function for me, like I said, everything right now is more for content creating, and I just want to get, like, these little type of things out there, and then I did have to go through my water uh, decal binder, because I was looking in there for, to get some inspiration, I want to do some artwork, and I just wanted to be inspired and see kind of new different things. And it was just a shambles. There was just 
like skulls with butterflies and things and so I just really wanted to organize it so I literally took like three hours and I did that and it looks amazing I think I will add something in there like a clip in there kind of how it did I didn't really film too much of it guys because it was literally like just a hodgepodge but I will definitely put a small clip of how it all looked up in one of the corners or something and then you could kind of see it was it was crazy but it's now it's like so much nicer and just good so my stickers ain't bad I think I've kind of kept my stickers pretty organized my foils like that's a whole other a whole other thing I really like wish I could just like I wish I had somebody that enjoyed doing nail stuff and just had like none of my friends are into nails like they all love and support me and but I can tell when I'm going on with talking a little bit too much about nail and nail products in the studio they're just like yeah okay <laughs> so it's like it'd be awesome to have somebody local that was like could be like that was into like what I'm into right I was like because I really would like to outsource that project <laughs> it's like that that's gonna take two that's gonna take two for sure but one of the days I'll get to it um but other than that like I think I'm pretty good on my organized guys I really I strive in life to have everything have a place and it does keep me more mentally focused so I hope you guys enjoyed my little rant and rave ray tape whatever you know me I always talk um it's crazy for such a shy girl I feel like I talk a lot to you guys so I guess that's a good thing um that's it though I think I think that's all we're gonna do eventually I'll get to that cart we'll do a little cart tour but I do have a few other things that I have to get done today so that is all I hope you guys enjoyed my what's in my desk thank you guys so so much I'm so appreciative of all you guys don't forget to hit that subscribe give it a thumbs up notification bell so you guys know when I have new videos of that coming out go follow me on all my social media I truly appreciate and yeah Thanks guys so much. Bye. Right, bye.